My name is Paul Atkins. I'm the resource manager for printmaking. Um, this third floor resource, basically what we are is a resource for the whole college, whole of Campbell. So this is the uh, screen printing facility at Camberwell. Um, as in all the, the, the offer of facilities at Camberwell, this is again a very large, generous space for working in. We've got eight screen beds, uh, mainly NatGraph tables and Kipax tables. Uh, this is the relief uh, printing area. Uh, where we'll uh, basically work on uh, lino cuts and uh, woodblock. Um, again, this is um, a, a very well used area. As, as a medium, what's great about relief printing is that it's one of the processes which um, is very direct, so it's an excellent introduction to printmaking because there's not a great deal of, or, or if any, chemical processing involved. So it's just straightforward cutting into the block uh, and lino and then inking it up and printing. So the results are very uh, immediate and very direct. And that's one of the great things about, about this particular area. The Litho area here at Camberwell is a very well equipped and very well set up um, area. Um, the workshops themselves um, were originally designed and laid out by a guy called Peter Weaver, who's a master lithographer, master printer. Um, and that was set up uh, probably about 35, 40 years ago. So we've done a few little nips and tucks and a few changes, but essentially it's running as it was set up originally. We have two offset presses. They're essentially sort of they're quite old technology, but work perfectly adequately for our purposes. So it gives them an idea of how the actual process works in industry. Zinc plate and stone, traditional stone, tends to be um, used mainly by illustration and painting students. Um, that's the paper for the proof. It's that's the proof print. sheet, yes, I see. Um, and then that's the padding, which is a beautiful more thing It's always so exciting, isn't it? It's the best part of printing. The best part of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a safe light area. This is basically where we do all the coating for the screens. This is our UV exposure unit. Um, so this is the main, the main box containing UV light. Um, exposes all our screens, all our photo lipo plates and our photo etching plates, so quite a heavily used area. Uh, what we will do again in the inductions and workshops, we'll take the students through uh, exposure times, exposing all their artwork onto screens or whatever they're doing, and then we'll show them how to process it. Um, it's a bit of half and half, there's, there's a lot of technical input at this stage, because the processing, particularly of, of, of screens or plates or whatever, getting it right is absolutely crucial. So at this point, uh, particularly in the early processing stages, the, the, the technical input is, is absolutely vital. Textile screen printing that goes on in this, this workshop. We have a three meter table and a 10 meter print table. And it's mainly for textiles, but we do print on other substrates, papers, card, wood, whatever we can get our screens onto, basically. Yeah, so this is one of the actual silk screens that the students are using at the moment. 
So this is the, the mesh that's been stretched on the screen and then it's a photographic emulsion coated on the screen and the image is produced. Uh, this is the etching workshop. This tends to be um, the area that I mainly work in. So we've got six presses. Um, we've got three Hunt Penrose presses, these ones. Two small Rochat presses and a large Rochat press over here for um, big plates, basically. This is all the inking up area along here. So these are the jiggers and hot plates. And this is where we do all the grounding um, uh, soft and hard ground onto the plates for plate preparation. Just let the flame lick the underneath of the ground. So the ground's pointing down, all right? That's called smoking the plate. Moving around. And if you hinge it there, you can, you can remove that and you can, you can check on the progress of your drawing. Yeah. This is where we do all our etching of our zinc, copper and steel plates. It's fine. And then This is basically what we do when the plate comes out of the acid and it's been etched. The ground's removed with white spirit and you've got your etch drawing underneath. One of the things about printmaking which a lot of people don't realise is that it's fine getting a lot of presses into a space but you've got to have, you've got to have a lot of other considerations um, in relation to that, i.e workbenches, places to work, you know, places to basically um, draw up and, um, you know, just generally gener generate ideas. <laughs> so finally, when the prints have been pulled uh, from the etching presses, we'll bring them in here. Uh, the paper will be wet, so basically um, all the prints are put on the boards to dry. My name's James Edgar and I am the letterpress technician here at Camberwell College of Art. So instead of using tabs, we're using this thing here called a side lay and the front lays, but obviously the beauty of this process is that it's fully movable. There's lots of different specialist workshops, so there's ones I do on visual typography, uh, on concrete typography, just a general glossary of terms, even simple ones like using wood letter type. It's the physicality of using this that's very important, so the fact that you will physically pick up the letters or the, the glyphs or the objects etc and you place them together and then you can then print with them. Anything above the midline is known as an ascending letter because it ascends above the midline. Anything that descends below the baseline is a descending letter. So most of the type is then printed on what's called a hand galley proofing press. So the type is locked up in these metal trays called galleys and it can be locked up with these things called galley magnets, very strong magnets that just lock the type together. 